Okay, everybody. So let's take a look at this uh, clip. Remember when I told you guys how in certain communities, the Dusties are the ones that are protected? Well, look on the screen. Let's talk about why it's here on the screen. This will be part A, the news clip. Then please stick around, if you will, for part B, which will be the commentary. I, it's beyond me. It, it really is. Check it out for you. $500. That's all a capital murder suspect here in Houston had to pay to get out of jail. And this is the lowest amount that for that crime we've ever reported on. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live in the studio with tonight. Wow. Yeah, Rossi, Eric Simeon first posted a $150,000 bond for capital murder back in 2017. His repeated bond violations had him in and out of jail something a criminal district court judge eventually rewarded him for. 30-year-old Eric Todd Simeon and three other men are charged with capital murder in the May 26, 2016 deaths of Javier Moreno and Roger Pantoya. They killed two people, and they also put a uh, gun to a young mother with a two-month-old, and they put a gun to her head as well. Capital murder is one of the clear exceptions in Texas law that you can completely deny bond. But in 2017, Simeon walked out of jail after posting a $150,000 bond. According to court records, he repeatedly violated the conditions of bond and was back in jail four months later. They reinstate the bond, but they lower the bond to 50. Normally, it goes up hmm. when you get your bond revoked. But this went dramatically down. While out on the $50,000 bond for capital murder, Simeon is convicted of evading arrest and spends 60 days in jail. His bond is once again revoked. Then, 180th Criminal District Court Judge Deshaun Jones lowers Simeon's bond for capital murder to just $9,000. You never heard of such a thing? I have never in my life seen a bond that low for capital murder. I've never seen a bond that low for murder, much less capital murder. A $9,000 bond, you pay the bondsman $900. So for $900, he was able to get out and is roaming around the city of Houston right now. Eric Simeon is probably the first defendant I've featured in a breaking bond report that's still a free man. I decided to go to his Northwest Harris County apartment to see if he wanted to comment. Judging by the eviction notice on the door and all the stuff outside, it looks like Eric Simeon is long gone. Now remember, we have an open invitation for all sitting criminal district court judges and their opponents to tell voters why they should vote for you. Okay, everybody, so this is part A. Please stick around for part B, the commentary.